Hey guys, this is Justin James, World Long Drive Champion here for Swing Balance. All right, so we're gonna start off with a few stretches we're gonna do with the longer uh, pure bar, okay? And the first thing I'm gonna do is what I call an up and over. So we're gonna get our shoulder girdle, thoracic spine moving a little bit. Very, very complex exercise, okay? We're just working up and over, that's all. Now, I'm gonna start as wide as I want, as wide as I can go. As I get more mobile and I start to loosen up, I'm gonna inch my grip in. Okay, but I want to work from basically below the navel into the small of the back here. Okay, what I'm looking for are discrepancies, like if we're really tight here and you'll see some funky movement from your students. We just want this up and over and then back here. All right, then I'll go into a sweep. Now I'm lengthening and shortening one side here. You'll see a lot of athletes kind of sweep through these exercises. All right, to work shoulder, girdle mobility, thoracic spine. All right, I'm working some side bending and coiling with that. So there's your uh, up and over, there's your sweep. Now I'll go down to my knees and I'm gonna work the long lat stretch, <coughs> okay? So I'll just have hands elevated, okay? I'm gonna take my head through my arms. I'm gonna sit down, create as much length as I can. All right, in order to get the big high backswing that we want, okay, and get our hands high to create power, we need length in the lats. And that's what we're working on here. Again, not a complicated stretch. You'll see, I mean, look, animals do this. This is like bear out of hibernation, the simplest stretch we can get. You can do this on a wall. Obviously, you can do this with any type of dowel, okay? You can also, if like you're on a golf cart, you can elevate this and do this standing. But if you don't have that available, we'll just drop to our knees and work length in our lats this way. Now I'll drop into a backswing stretch from so position this off of my trail side. All right, and then take my shoulder under my chin and then drop my shoulder to the turf. And I'll get a big stretch across that shoulder girdle and that lead side. I'll also go to my trail side. All right, and this is just warming up. You'll get a couple cracks in your back. That's a good thing. I'll go right hand on top and, and then I'll switch, go left hand on top, work both grip positions. All right, I'll then go to like a hip flexor stretch. So leg up, all right, I'll create length here, and I'm just going to lean forward. Okay, length all along this side, big stretch in this hip flexor back here. Go here, and then lean forward. All right, one of my favorites is also a bow and arrow stretch. I'll position this off my side, reach over here. Press this out and get a big stretch, big side bending stretch. I'll do that on both sides. So this is your bow and arrow. We'll then stand up. Okay, and I'm gonna do a couple backswing rehearsals. So the important thing here is I'm gonna start on my lead side. I'm gonna shift into my trail side. Now my center of mass is more on my trail side and then make this big backswing stretch. Okay, I'll generally do about five of these big back swings. Okay, trying to get a little more range of motion on each rep. All right, and then I'm gonna do five where I make that back swing, and then I'm gonna take my lead side and try to take it to my right hand to intensify that stretch. Okay, so this is gonna get us mobile. It's a nice warm up to do before you play, a nice stretching routine. It's gonna get you ready to play and compete at the highest level.